Hey y'all, what's up man? Welcome back to my channel, y'all. I thank all y'all for all y'all support so far. And today we just gonna get right into the point of what this video is about. As you read the title, this is gonna be about NBA talk. And so I'm gonna do my reaction towards, you know, the NBA season and the NBA um awards um that just happened in this past week. So let's get into this video. <laughs> but um but before we get into the video um please like comment share and subscribe to the channel um make sure you comment guys make sure you share um again i'm gonna have more videos coming out i'm just being patient i got a lot of content and just putting it all together and finding time you know think about it. i do have a job and i do other things behind the scene so you know it just this right here is fun right now, and um, I'm enjoying it. So, um, join the family, Dream Kid Nation, Dream Kid Empire, and let's get into the video right away. And so, the talk for today is on the NBA talk. Um, you know, and I'm gonna start off with the season. And the season this year, I felt like the Lakers was robbed. Um, I felt like LeBron injury really cost the Lakers a playoff run this year. And people are going to be naive about LeBron, but LeBron was going to win MVP. On um, the beginning of the year, you're thinking about LeBron James was going to win MVP if he would have stayed healthy. He missed like, what, 30, 35 games. And by the time he came back, they was already the 10th seed. So they went from the 4th seed to the 10th seed. And it proven that the Lakers needed LeBron. And that's how value he was for that team and so that part we never get to see we never get to see LeBron go against the Warriors um, so this brings back to who is the best player right now well healthy no lie guys healthy with everybody's healthy LeBron James is the best player in the league because he can turn a team into a championship team out of nowhere I mean he, that's what he can do so healthy wise, he's the best player in the league. Right now, what it leaning towards is Kawhi Leonard. KD when healthy is right there with Kawhi Leonard neck and neck. I believe Anthony Davis in that conversation as well. I believe um, Giannis in a, in a certain way. Um, I felt like Giannis is a paper MVP. Like, like you got paper champions. Giannis not the real MVP. He got that because he was the, he was the best player on the best team. And lately, when you're the best player on the best team, like James Harden, James Harden should have won the MVP. But it is what it is. And in my opinion, LeBron James in his career can have seven MVPs in a regular season. That's no doubt. Like every year, you can put him as an MVP. Um, people want to hate on him, but. The man is pretty darn good. I mean, the numbers don't lie. I mean, look at his numbers. And I'm a numbers guy. So, that's that. And so, like, to continue about the season and the NBA Finals or whatever, the Raptors, um, they won. Um, I mean, and it proven Steph Curry cannot do it on his own. That, that's what it proved, y'all. What it proved that Steph Curry cannot do this on his own. And so... How can we put him in a category with LeBron, KD, Kawhi Leonard, Anthony Davis, Giannis? We can't, he's not in that category because he can't carry a team. And I've been saying this before, guys. Put Curry on the Charlotte, um, the Charlotte Hornets. Put him on that team. They not gonna do as well even with them because he cannot carry the load defensively and offensively. Think about the all-time greats. Let's think about it. The all-time great that led their team to finals. Led their team to finals. So let's think about it. You have people like Shaq that led it defensively and offensively. Kobe Bryant, um, Larry Bird, Michael, Michael Jordan, Magic Johnson, Kareem, LeBron James, um, Dirk, Dirk did it. Um, Dirk didn't do it defensively, but Dirk took over a team. Um, Dwayne Wade. 
prime example on um, the run he had, like I said, Dirk, um, people like Tim Duncan, um, stuff like that, where they, you don't hear a lot of point guards name in that category, unless you Isaiah Thomas, um, Allen Iverson, or Magic Johnson. Those three is like exceptional. So Curry can't carry a team like that. He can't do that. Iverson averaged 40 points, folks. Against the Lakers in the finals. That wasn't Iverson's fault. I mean, man averaged 40 points, 12 assists per game. Iverson was doing his thing. It was just the late the Lakers were just the Lakers had Kobe and Shaq. So nothing Iverson can do about that. But going back to Curry, Curry is not what people think he is. If you put him on a bad team, he can't do nothing. He can't produce. That's why he's overrated to me. Just like Giannis. Giannis this year was overrated. Um, when it came down to it, when, it, when, he, when his team needed him the most, he couldn't do nothing with Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi Leonard shut that down, and Kawhi Leonard showed him that he's the best player in the game right now. But again, folks, when healthy, LeBron James is the best player in the league. That is the same situation with um, Kobe Bryant. Um, when it was Kobe versus LeBron, Kobe versus LeBron, I tell people they two different players playing two different positions and Kobe case, Kobe is not a playmaker. He's more like a scorer. He's going to score. LeBron James is a playmaker. LeBron James is more like magic. So the comparison, you can't compare them to. And when healthy, when healthy, LeBron James is the best player in the game. When healthy, when he's healthy. But the problem is, though, he getting up to that age. And so, you see a decline in this game. And so, therefore, who's next? Um, that's a question. You got Kevin Durant, Anthony Davis, and Kawhi Leonard. Those are the three um, right now. Giannis is not there yet because Giannis... Giannis haven't fully taken over the game quite yet. Not yet. I mean, he's going to get there. But right now... Since KD is injured and Anthony Davis, who knows what he's going to do next year with the Lakers. Um, you got to say Kawhi Leonard. But I'm here to say this. Since the Warriors injuries, the favorite to win the title next year is the Lakers, y'all. So there you go. You get my first prediction before free agency um i'll probably do another video i might change my mind by free agency but right now the lakers is going to win the championship next year as it stands if lebron james stays healthy if not then it is what it is um this is going to conclude my um video um i wasn't going to try to get long into it i'm just trying to give a little recap of what i think about the season and what i think about certain players and stuff like that. I do think Giannis is overrated right now. I think his MVP, he's just a paper MVP because he's not the real MVP. Um, Kawhi Leonard missed games and LeBron James missed games. And James Harden really is an overrated player. James Harden, when it counts the most, James Harden cannot produce. Like, it's ridiculous. Like, that is how it is. But, um, if you like videos like this, just tell me, um, I'm going to do more NBA talk. I guess I'm going to do a lot more reaction videos. I do have more um, videos coming out soon. Um, again, y'all, I'm just being patient and just, you know, I do have a life outside of these cameras and stuff like that. So, and editing takes time, especially when you're still new at it. And so, um, hopefully, I'll show you something different with my editing. And um, stay tuned. I mean, we got more to come. I'm going out.